Hello, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can redirect a user to a thank you page after they submit a contact form. Now, you're gonna need Elementor Pro to have this function correctly. And the first thing I recommend you do is go ahead and actually create your thank you page ahead of time. So in this case, it's just a simple thank you and a call to action. Um, you can add anything to this page, but I recommend you have at least one call to action on here. You know, you can have your blog or video or whatever it may be. So what I recommend is you copy that URL. And once you drop in your contact form, um, style it, change the custom fields, whatever you need it to be. And by default, you'll notice that the Elementor form has an action of email. So it just will email uh, whoever the admin is on the uh, WordPress installation. So um, in this case, I want to have both. I want to have... Uh, an email notification and redirect the user to a thank you page. So to do that, you can add multiple actions here. So you would just click right here and you can see within here, Elementor gives you a lot of different uh, actions that you can integrate directly with your contact form. So in this case, uh, just a simple redirect. So once you click that, you'll notice a new panel down here called redirect. So this is the URL we just pasted in there. Just thank you. And that's it. Now, if we just go to this contact form, let's give it a test and it should uh, redirect to the page. So there you go. So now it just redirects uh, to a page. Now I'm not sure if you noticed, but underneath when you submitted it, there was a, a thank you message. Um, That's what they call the success succession step right here. So what I recommend is to Go ahead and actually delete this custom message. So right here is success message. Just delete that because uh, it will appear underneath it. And so the user might try to read it and then they get redirected and they, they didn't have time to read it. So what I recommend, just delete that out there and let's try this form again. And you're, it, might, it should be a little more seamless. So let's give it a shot and test. So you'll notice nothing will appear underneath here and it should just redirect the user straight to the thank you page. So that's really about it for this video. Um, in a future video, I'm gonna show you how to create these cool little animations um, on pages like this. Thank you for watching this Elementor tutorial. If you'd like to receive future videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you and have a great day.